Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, uh, Super El Presidente Games. Welcome back to, um, I hit the wrong button, like, oh, <laughs> he's Tropico 4. Oh, wait. No me interesa. What? People are, uh, people are protesting against the government. Muy buena. Oh, right there. I thought, like, in the water. Where is this lady? You know what? Let's see if El Presidente can come Don't talk to her. Yeah, you can see El Presidente if you can talk to this lady. Why is she unhappy to begin with? I'm unhappy. I will protest to make my voice heard. Is she not happy about entertainment? Is that it? Her job? She got a high school education? Get a job at the high school. Oh, man, look, a freighter exported something worth a bunch of goods. Where the hell is El Presidente? I'm busy ruling. Ah! <laughs> Poor healthcare was responsible for three deaths last year. Well, he's going for his limo. Well, he does that. Um, we're going to work on building some better jobs for people. So, let's build... Um, industry... Oh, fuck. Let's build a cannery. Okay, we need blueprints, so we're gonna pay for that. And then we're gonna build that right here, I guess? Yeah, we'll build the cannery right there, and then when I get the money, I'd like to build a cigar factory right next to it, but... I'll actually make that one of the higher priority buildings. People should be liking us more, though. Uh, where's El Presidente? What do you want? I'm busy ruling. Oh, he's still going for his limo. I love his little Elvis jumpsuit he's got going on. He's like, quickly, I'm gonna stop the protesters. They don't know how good they have it here in Tropico. Now, we still got a lot of construction stuff that needs to get finished. Our hotel's doing pretty well. Yeah, I, I gotta quit running the money into the debt, because now foreign relations will matter. Because it will hurt our tourism rating, I believe. We could be wrong about that, but whatever. Most of the other countries like us, though. Russia likes us except for we're in debt. America likes us except for we're in the debt. And all the factions with the loyalists, loyalists are pretty happy. They want a childhood museum, so I should build one of those when we have time, but we need to get some industry going. That'll make the some of the workers happier. And then we need to build better houses for them. Where the hell are all these guys? Where are all these construction people? Why are you... Where are you going? Why are, didn't you take a garage back? Damn it. It would probably help if... We had a supermarket there, but we can't build supermarkets yet. The technology does not exist. What about you? Excelencia? You, you going to work? We built this city on Pachanga. Oh, he had, she had fun. You know what? We need more recreational spots. Things, fun things for the people to do. Can I build... Um, pub? Yeah, let's build a pub right there. That way we can get rid of that ugly shack. <laughs> let's see if we can build something pretty there. Um, oh, not an attraction. Well, actually, we could build a fountain right there, but I'd rather have some trees there. Unfortunately, it's not as nice as, like, the original Tropico and what you can do that way. Yeah, there we go. That'll make it pretty when people are coming up here and they <clears throat> see it. Plus, also, it'll give people a little bit of shade if they're sitting around there. That's pretty cool. So when you're done with your hospital visit, that guy looks a little bit like me. You can go get some 
restaurant food, or you, we're gonna have the pub right there. You can have a nice drink. I want a nice drink. What's this one I can't build yet? Presidential statue. Your citizen won't dare to protest around the palace. Who would anyway? Nobody lives near the palace. Due to tornadoes and hurricanes, this has just become a death zone. Oh, I forgot I got unfinished farms out here. <laughs> so all these things it's like I start spending money on it and then I don't bother to check up to see if they actually did it or not. Should build some farms in there too. At some point, we need a police station too. I should probably build one like right there. Oop, not a prison. Oh, we can't afford a police station right now. We are in debt. I kind of get money happy or spending happy. I'm like a real politician. We don't need to have money to spend it. You don't want me to cut things, so why don't we spend more? Sure, that'll work. No, oh, the church is so loud. Oh yeah, there we go. What do you want? I'm busy ruling. Oh, he's going to the, her house, right? Oh, you what must have gone to her now? farm. To be like, come on, you don't want to protest without Presidente. Why don't you go, Presidente, encourage... You know what, El Presidente? It's time for you to give a speech. Make it so. It might have been a bad idea not having people live near the palace, I don't know. Alright, sweet, we're gonna have a cannery built soon. There'll be more high-paying jobs for people. Plus, that should help us make more money. There is a crisis of command in our army, sir. Since Tropican soldiers are too unruly, we should recruit more generals to urge them in the right direction in battle. Uh, that's not good. The militarists are the prominent faction on this island. We don't have money for that. We need to get more jobs. People need jobs. We can't eat on military rule alone. Come on, we need to finish the what uh, thing. What requires Presidente's attention? Where are you, El Presidente? Why are you in El Presidente? <laughs> Did you get lost? All right. Um, let's see the people's overall happiness. Housing quality is slowly going up. Religion is kind of going up. Entertainment's kind of going up. They're going to want an election soon. Some of that stuff needs to get going sooner. Presidente, there has been a huge revolution in several Middle Eastern countries. Several leaders supported by the U.S. are likely to be replaced soon. However, the revolutions are led by what some call extremists. Unfortunately, you've been put on the spot and can't remain neutral. We should pick a side soon. What's our stance? We're going to support the United States of America because... Oh, most of our tourists are Americans. At least a, half of them are. Plus, they give us a ton of financial aid. Hell yeah. What's the Middle East giving us? Plus, we're in the Caribbean. We're a lot nearer to the United States. The Middle East is not going to invade us. Tally ho, old boy. The riffraff back home are on my back again. You know how it is. Lord Chefney wants me to export 500 logs. Um, we're not going to send 500 logs to Europe. We will not destroy our beautiful environment for you Europeans. I'm sorry. We love our beauty here in Tropico. We want to keep it pristine. Oh, we're actually working on the salt mine. Presidente, Tropicans await elections next year. They wish to show their everlasting love and respect for you. They may have used different words, but that does not matter. Well, Pamuto, whatever your name is, I'm going to call you Frankie. I don't know. Um, let's see. I can say no elections. Uh, elections without a speech or elections with a speech. We're going to do elections with a speech. So I'm going to address the hot issue, which is housing. I'm going to praise the spirit of... Uh, the religious... And I promise that we're going to have um, adequate housing. Because we are working on the housing situation. Hard working friends. The importance of the upcoming elections 
has brought me before you. We are one step closer to our goals. Victory is almost upon us, but we must still push forward. Yes, there are problems. There will always be problems, especially in the current economic situation. The shacks in the cities, about which I hear so much these days, is one of them. And it will be resolved, as will all others, in time, as the global economy stabilizes. Through the years of my presidency, I have received your gratitude, my compañeros. Alas! I am nothing but a humble servant, and you are my masters, my employers. Now I bow to the superior morality of the religious tropicans, who absolve our sins in the face of God. I have great plans for Tropico. Plans that will be fed by everyone, even the least fortunate of you. I promise you that in my next term, people will no longer have to live in shacks. Our victory will allow me to finish the reform. You can see right here the election. Um, these are the early primary polls. Eduardo Dick Secro uh, right now is polling to get 78 votes, and Fabio Ortega 10. Let's see what this is. Presidente, you may not like it, but people want to see your face more often. Loyalists want me to build statues of myself. I'm not going to waste money on that. My dear president. Oops. Right, so right now we can see the support. Obviously, red support is for the opponent. This is our support here. Most people really want us. Let's see what Fabio no is like. Fabio is 14 years old? A 14-year-old is running against me for president? Oh my god. That's... No! I almost killed him! It, that's the eliminate order. I would have almost ordered someone to kill him. How bad would it have been if I ordered the 14-year-old opponent to be killed? Well, that's not what I want to have happened. I think I can beat that kid. I mean, beat him in an election. That, you know. Alright, so we got a cannery here. Apparently, nobody's working here yet. We'll make it so it pays 12 whatever uh, thing. We're going to build a packing house there. So that way they'll produce stuff faster. And we got to get the... <clears throat> excuse me. See, that's a cannery. So that'll take coffee and can it and fish. But actually, I think our fishing wharf is down. Because I think the hurricane ruined it. It's another thing to put on the priority list. Oh, they're almost done with the salt work. Yay, the salt mine is done, I think. Is it? No, it's 97% done. Damn it, it needs to finish. Oh, and they're making progress in this. Cool. We almost at the beach resort done. Buenas tarde. Oh, sweet. Uh, French workers coming. Ooh la la, finish this. We can get these fat slabs hopefully here. Make some more money off of them. Because there's not a hell of a lot to do as a tourist island. There's nature they can go look at. I mean, I guess that's really nice, but there's not any touristy things to do. They can go to a restaurant. But you don't need to sail all the way down to the Caribbean to go to a restaurant. Buenos dias. Where is El Presidente? What matter requires Presidente's attention? Why don't you go... I'm to check up on my people. Yeah, help encourage them with the pub. Oh, almost done. Yay! Finally it's done. It took forever to get that done. I want to see... 
Um, where's the pay part? Okay, so the average pay in the Caribbean is nine. The average pay here is nine. But that's mostly because I raised all the poor people, the uneducated people's pay to nine. Once we start getting some jobs, like our factory jobs for high school grads, um, we're going to be making a lot more. Or, or I should say the average the average pay for the uh, Tropican will go up. Which will be good, because then more people will want to immigrate to uh, Tropico. Unfortunately, nobody's working. Why is nobody working here? We must have a ton of... I mean, look at all these kids studying at the high school. Why don't they work here? Let's, uh, where are our lists? Uh, education. Oh, I, I, I guess it's because we haven't had many graduate yet. That would make sense. You know what we could do to make people happier, too? It is an election year. Let's look at some of the edicts. Um, modern times? No. General? How about Social Security? No more no more will our students and elderly citizens be forced to live in shacks because they have no income. Two-thirds of the average wage will be paid every month to each student or retired citizen in Tropico. So we're going to do that. That way um, they can make money. So now, because I saw some old people, that way they won't just die in the streets without money. They can get food and stuff. Citizens, a small step for the world, a giant leap for tropical. I can't believe we're ahead in the election results like this. It's probably because I'm running against a 14 year old kid. Is he in school? I gotta see. Uh, Fabio, what's your education Buona level? Tarde. Oh, he is a student. <laughs> it's probably a student product project. All right, for your student project in politics, run against president, because <laughs> nobody else dares. Fair enough. I think that's hilarious. Man, we're exporting a lot of goods. What are we mostly exporting? Okay, farming stuff. Okay, a lot of tobacco, some corn, not much fish. I should have built a tobacco company or a factory. Because I don't know if the coffee farms are built yet. I didn't realize that. The coffee farms over here. That was poor planning. Alright, let's build industry. We need a blueprint prints for a cigar factory. We'll do that. And then let's build a cigar factory. Yeah, right there. Make that high priority. In fact, we're going to get out Presidente. Facts, I don't have all day. To come encourage that. That was poor planning on my part. We should have some coffee somewhere, because we do have one coffee plantation. But there's a chance that they sold all their coffee, like, on a dock before this got built. They'll grow more. Alright, where are you construction buttheads? Oh, they're probably out getting food. I want to get a supermarket. We can build a supermarket in here. Where are you, El Presidente? What matter requires Presidente's attention? Move it, lady! El Presidente has places to go. Oops. You can always tell El Presidente, because he's wearing the awesome jumpsuit. Because he likes to jump into action. Camera controls them suck. This better be important. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Where was I sending you now? Factory, right? Oh, yeah. So you can encourage it's the workers when they get out of work and no play for President Day. Oh, look, this is already making money. Well, okay, it hasn't made any money yet because I guess none of the fat tourists are there. But it's, it's packed. I guess the tourists are like, finally, there's something to do. <laughs> Fly Air Tropico. We don't have that. I, right now, Air Tropico is us throwing you off the top of this building. Have a nice flight. Ah! Don't crush your head. 
If you do, though, we do have free medical. It sucks that they have to pay to go to the beach. If I was them, I'd be like, why don't I just go to the beach here? I don't need all this stuff. But I assume part of that, I guess, fees would be from, like, food, maybe surf. Board rentals, shoes, coffee. It's like a strip mall at the beach. My dear Presidente, the election day draws near. Our diligent bu bureaucrats have calculated that you'll get approximately 89% of the vote. Several of your advisors suggest that this number could go higher. Certain techniques like counting methods and positive and negative incentives are used to attract more votes to you, for you. Um, I believe intellectuals call this election fraud. fraud. He's just saying we can cheat, basically, get more votes. We're not going to do that. The pure affection for El Presidente is enough. There is no need for fraud. People love me. How could they not? Ooh, the salt mine's almost done. <laughs> if, I, if I had my shit a little more together, some of the stuff would have been built more efficiently, time-wise and money-wise. Um, candidate support. Look at all the people that are strongly for El Presidente. The only per hey, Fabio got a job. He became a preacher. Good for him. I'm guessing she's going to finish the salt mines. Let's see. USR, SR, China split. Relations with China are reset to the original value. So, let's see how that is. Oops, foreign. Ah, China is kind of warm to us. They don't love us, but they kind of like us. Our relations have, uh... Wait, I thought we supported you, America. Didn't I support you in that? Damn it, I hope I did. I wasn't paying attention. Maybe I picked the wrong thing. Oh well. <laughs> El Presidente doesn't pay a whole lot of attention. Oh, good, good, good. We have someone working at our cannery, even though there's nothing to can yet. If I fire him, I'd be like, you got canned. Great joke. No, seriously, get out of here. I'll see y'all next time. Congratulations, Presidente. You have won the elections. People are content that no incidents occurred during the elections. You have their trust and all the credibility of our young democracy. All right, I thought I had already won, so that's why I was already going to be done. <laughs> Let's see, liberty you go up, it went up some. That goes up when you have elections sometimes. So I'll see you all next time.